all right uh, welcome to my youtube channel a square mass made easy academy now today we are going to look at another section of mathematics and uh, this section we are going to be talking about is questions on what indices questions on what indices now i want us to look at this very particular problem we are going to look at the shortest form of solving this and after that, we'll all probably look at the normal way by which you can solve this particular word question or your watch. Now look at this particular question. The question says simplify three brackets, two raised to power x plus one, close bracket, minus four bracket, two raised to power x minus one, close words bracket, then all over two raised to power x plus one then minus two raised to the power of what x now look at the options option a says one option b is two option c is three option d is what four now the shortest form by which you can solve this particular problem is this uh anytime you see a particular problem like this where you have all the bases are in base two in base two in base two, which means of the same word base and to the power there is a variable that is connecting all of them what did i say there is a variable x that is connecting what all of them the best thing you can do is first of all you said let x be equal to what zero so anywhere you see x remove it and put what zero can we proceed oh yeah watch i have three right brackets this is two i have seen x what is x zero plus what one close the word bracket then minus four open the bracket i'll now go with two again right raised to power x i have seen also x introduce what zero then minus one close the bracket that is the numerator then we now introduce all over and move down to the denominator so let's go again this is another base two then to the power i have seen x again remove x and introduce what zero then plus what one are you with me then minus the last one is two then the power is also x remove x and put what zero that is a shortcut of solving this kind of problem then if you have done that the best thing the next thing is to simplify then if we simplify we have three right bracket we are what i write my two here now look at this the power is zero plus one 0 plus 1 is what? 1. So which is empty as 2. Are you there now? Then minus 4. Open the bracket. So this is now 2. Or raised to power minus 1. Do you know why? 0 minus 1, which is the power, is what? Minus 1. Then all over. I have with me here 2. Then 0 plus 1 to the power is still what? 1. Then minus. Why? You can agree with me that by law of one of the laws of indices, Anything raised to power 0 is always what? 1. So which means 2 raised to power 0 will definitely give us what? 1. Are you with me now? Then if I continue, I will now have equal to, then let's multiply. 3 times 2 will give you what? 6. Are you there? Then minus. I want you to observe this. This is 4, right? So this power now has obeyed the negative power of indices, where the law says that anytime you see a negative power, that negative power stands as one over one word over the number the word number and what is the number two raised to power of one which is two then you can now close the bracket are you there then divided by what do i have two raised to power one is still what two then minus one i want you to watch now so you now have six right minus four times one we give you what four four over two we give us what two are you there then all over what two minus one can you see we already gotten the answer six minus two we give you what four over and two minus one we give you what one at the end four over one is now equal to four and that is the final word answer now the question is that do we have four in the option i want you to watch yes we have it so which means the correct answer in the option is option what d are you there now now, this is just the shortcut. So, having identified the shortcut, can we now move to the normal word method of solving this problem? So, let's now compare the two and know whether the answer 
will give us what the same. So I want you to watch. I have with me here three bracket two raised to power what x plus one close bracket minus four bracket two raised to power x minus one close bracket then all over two raised to power x plus one minus two raised to power what x now what we are going to do now is to go to the given base which is base two base two base two base two and apply the simple laws of what indices but before i say that i want you to watch this remember one of the laws in indices is that when the powers are this when the base are the same like a raised to power m times a raised to power what n under multiplication right the law say you should pick one of the base and add up the word powers why are we adding the power is because of the multiplication that is one of the laws. So, which means whenever we see something like this in expanded form, this is the answer. Are you with me now? And that is exactly what we're going to use here. That is number one thing I want you to note. Then followed by number two. If you have a raised to power m divided by a raised to power what n, this time around is division. So, what you should do is that since the base are the same, you pick one of the base, then what happens to the word power? You introduce minus introduce what minus it will not give you m minus what n i want to bet you that with this analysis that i've done right away you can solve this particular word problem yeah let's go back to the question now what do we have we have three right then open the bracket now expand this now i will start with two raised to the power of x are you there then plus you now multiply then the same two again raised to the power of what one are you with me now so that is the expansion of this then you now close the word bracket then minus four open the bracket i will do this now i have two raised to power what x which is the first one i have seen minus to the power minus means over are you there now then i will still have another one two but this time around it's raised to the power of what one i will equally close the bracket that is for the numerator then I will introduce all over, then expand this one also, like the way we did in the numerator. Now we watch this, two raised to power what, x first, are you there? Then add means times. Then you bring that the same two, but this time around raised to the power of what, one. Then minus, finally, two raised to the power of what, x. Are you following now? Now if you observe this thing critically, you find out that anywhere you observe this expression, there is two raised to power what x. There is two raised to power what x. There's another two raised to power what x. And here also, there is two raised to power what x. What do we do? We factorize. So what, how do we factorize? First of all, we'll start with the numerator. I have two raised to power x with me. Are you there? Then open the bracket. As you open the bracket now, what do you think that will remain inside? The first one we're seeing here, what is it? right is three right then i will multiply the second one you're seeing is two raised to power what one and two raised to power one is two are you there now then minus as i already factor two raised to power x you know that this one is already out are you there what remains now is four over what two what did i say four over what two i'll write four all over what two i will now close the bracket then i'll move over to the denominator there is 2 to power x, there is 2 to power what x. I will probably factor it out. Are you following? Then open the bracket. As this one go with this one, what is remaining? 2 raised to power 1, which is same thing as what? 2. Are you there? Then minus. As this one and this one are the same, and when you divide it, the resulting solution is what? 1. Then I will now close the bracket. Now watch. Can you now see that 2 raised to power x? We cancel 2 raised to power what? X. Yeah, let's do the, the stuff. Now watch. 3 times 2 will give you what? 6. Are you with me? Then minus. I believe 2 can go into 4 to give you what? 2. Then divided by what do you have again? 2 minus 1. So let's continue. You now have this as equal to 6 minus 2 will give you what? 4. All over 2 minus 1 will give you what? 1. At the end, 1 can go into 4. How many times four times can you see that it has correspond with the shortcut method have i made myself 
understand. Wow.